Welcome to another one of our Covisory Deskside Chats. I'm Nigel Smith and today I'm going to give you a quick update on what's happening in the CA market around practice and FIBA block sales. Firstly, there remains strong demand for purchasers to buy either fee blocks or smaller practices to bolt onto their existing practices. We're not seeing a lot of new people coming into practice, but we are certainly seeing other practices being acquisitive. Who's leaving the industry? Well, it's typically two groups. It's practitioners past their retirement age who probably ended up working through COVID when they may have otherwise retired. However, more interestingly, we're seeing a number of practitioners in their early to mid 50s getting out ahead of time, wanting to do something different or to repurpose their life. Some of these practices are good in the terms of the fee quality as well. Prices around fees are still at least a dollar for a dollar of fees based on what transfers the purchaser. That risk is one that the purchaser is not prepared to take unless it's a significant discount to the purchase price. So generally it's only based on what fees transfer. We've sold practice fee blocks from 300,000 to 600,000 and entire practices from 600,000 to 3 million. So there's plenty of demand out there, but if you've got a larger practice, allow more time. If you're trying to sell your practice, there's a few things that you can do to maximise the value. Obviously, if someone's going to pay you a dollar in the dollar to buy your fee base, they don't then want to find they're going to have to invest another 50 or 60 cents on top of that because the clients aren't managed well and the lockup that your clients are used to is horrendous. So you need to make sure you get your debtors down and tidy up your work in progress well ahead of a sale. A purchaser won't see value in your clients if they're very slow to pay you. The next thing is to make sure that you're increasing your charge out rates, particularly in these inflationary times. That means pushing up the bill value that you're sending out. Make sure you regularly review your pricing and push your fees up and your rates. Zero buyers are the typical buyers in the market. The younger practitioners looking at buying fees typically are on zero. So if you're not on zero, remember that a buyer is going to want a discount for the fact that they're going to have to convert your MyOB or other system clients across to zero. However, just because you're on zero, don't think it's all great and easy money because obviously your chart of accounts and accounts formats are going to be different to what they're using. So the consequence of that is that you need to make sure that if you're on zero, you've got a reasonably clean set of accounts and chart of accounts. The demand does remain strong, so if you are considering selling, now is a good time to go. So as always, if you are interested in selling or want an idea of what your practice might be worth, have a chat to us. There's a lot of factors that buyers take into account and every sale is different, but there's certainly good opportunity to get out and if you're looking to buy, there have been some good fee blocks and practices around. I'm Nigel Smith and this has been another one of our Covisory Desk Side Chats.